decision has been made in New England when it comes to QB1. Patriots rocking with the veteran QB Jacoby Brissett as their week one starter against the Bengals. Head coach Gerard Mayo making that official this morning. So Brissett getting the nod over Drake May, who of course was the number three overall selection in this year's draft. We mentioned Mayo and he making that decision. Here he was a little bit earlier this morning talking because the preseason situation of how it all played out. The numbers were a little bit better for Drake May. He, of course, had more opportunities to play than Jacoby did. But still, it is the veteran presence of Jacoby Brissett giving him that starter job for week one. We're bringing our Patriots expert, Tyler Sullivan. If we're going to talk about them, we have to bring in the guy to get all the reaction. And Tyler, I'm curious, what is your reaction to hearing that it is going to be, in fact, Jacoby Brissett, the starter for week one? Yeah, overall, not surprising. You know, it, it was surprising for a moment there because, you know, Mayo was kind of going back and forth for a moment. They're calling a press conference this morning that wasn't on the previous schedule. So you're like, oh boy, maybe this is actually moving in Drake May's direction. But obviously, it goes Jacoby Brissett's way. And, and that's something we've seen pretty much all summer, even going back to the spring. It, Jacoby Brissett has been the starter in terms of, you know, reps in practice, working with the first team offensive line. It has has been Jacoby Brissett. So, and, and that's been the plan here for the Patriots. So as much as Drake May kind of made this late summer surge, and it was impressive to see not only him vying for possibly being the week one job, but overall just looking at the future for the Patriots, it's encouraging. But this was the plan that Elliot Wolf and Gerard Mayo had put in place for, for Jacoby Brissett to be that stopgap guy. And as much as Drake May may have tried to make things a little bit awkward towards the end of the summer, I think that this is the right move for this organization organization in terms of where they stand right now for Jacoby Reset to be the guy in Cincinnati in week one. So given the numbers that we saw from May that were better than Brissett's numbers in the preseason, right now as it stands, how much of a decision do you think it was to give the nod to Brissett when you look at how the schedule pans out for the Patriots and the early part of the season versus the latter part of the season and maybe not wanting to throw May to the wolves, so to speak, to start off? Yeah, you know, it's it's a, it's a two-fold or multi-fold decision here. Obviously, you want what's best for the number three overall pick, and, and ideally, maybe you want to play him to get him that experience, but you look at this schedule, you have the first month of the season, three games on the road, and you look at that schedule. Cincinnati out of the gate going up against Joe Burrow. Even that home game against Seattle, Mike McDonald, first-year head coach, former Baltimore Ravens defensive coordinator. He led that unit last year, and then the Jets and 49ers on the road. That's just a a tough spot to put any quarterback in, and especially with this Patriots offensive line, the way that it's currently constructed. It's had its struggles this summer, as we've seen. You just can't throw a rookie quarterback in that type of situation. New offensive coordinator Alex Van Pelt talked about Jacoby Brissett's ability to identify pressure at the line of scrimmage, to be able to change things on the fly, knowing this offense, playing in this offense previously in his career. He comm commended Drake May for being able to do some of that, but when it's live, when you're under the lights, when it's real regular season football, it's tough to put that trust in a rookie, and it's tough to expose that rookie to that type of possible you know, abuse in terms of the pounding that he may take. That's what Jacoby Brissett's here for. He's here to take those lumps, to let that offensive line work itself out throughout the first month plus of the season and be that stable quarterback that's been under center before in the NFL that has multiple starts in the league. So let's say those lumps become a little bit too large for the Patriots. When do we see Drake May become the starter in New England? Yeah, I think there's a couple of interesting points here in the schedule. I think that that London game against Jacksonville in week seven, that's an interesting kind of soft landing spot there. This is a tough schedule for the Patriots, one of the toughest in the NFL, as we just mentioned. Again, you're, you're playing Super Bowl contender after Super Bowl contender, but I do think that that week seven game in London, you're out of the country, that could be a soft landing spot for a guy like Drake May. After that, you do play the New York Jets, but then it's the Tennessee Titans, the Chicago Chicago Bears that to me makes a little bit of sense to get some running room there for Drake May and if 
they start to go a little bit more with Jacoby Brissett. If all of a sudden things are fine and he isn't really, you know, shooting them in the foot, as they say, I do think that the tail end of the season, this team does have a late bye, week 14. That would give them a final month of the season where you're playing at Arizona, at Buffalo, versus the Chargers, versus Buffalo again. That, to me, could be the point there, too, where you see Drake May. If they're out of it mathematically, which I would assume they would be given where this roster is, that might be a nice spot for Gerard Mayo to kind of point to the future to say, hey, listen, we're coming out of this week 14 by. We have a month left. Let's start building for 2025. So ideally for me, that's when I want to see Drake May. I want to see him during the final month of the season to build momentum for 2025. If things get things get a little too hairy, maybe that week seven in London's the spot as well. Yeah, patience and just waiting for your time and keep trying to improve probably is the story for Drake May right now as we get set for all of it to begin. Tyler Sutherland, thank you so much for your time. And NFL is just around the corner. And that means that always you tap in with CBS. September 8th, you hear the vibes, you hear the sounds, you just get all the feels because football's back, baby, on CBS and always streaming on Paramount Plus as well.